Okay, so I think we can start. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is a project update for OpenStack Trove. Uh, my name is Bartosz Żurkowski. I am cloud and big data engineer at Samsung R&D Institute Poland. Uh, I'm also a core contributor in Trove. Uh, I'm very glad to invite you to this session, and I'm happy to see so many of you wanting to know about the project and maybe wanting to help. Uh, this is the outline. Uh, firstly, I will uh, say a few words about Trove mission, about its core features. Then I will show you uh, deployment stats, how uh, Trove is deployed in production. Then I will highlight uh, Rocky release. I will discuss Stein goals. And finally, I will give you uh, information about current community state. Uh, Trove is database as a service for OpenStack. It provides you full data, with full database lifecycle management, including provisioning, configuration management, backups, scaling, resizing. Uh, and its main uh, mission uh, is to offload database administrators from the burden of administering databases. Because on a daily basis, we desire rapid access to new database instances to uh, handle increasing data workloads. However, delivering fully functional production-grade database instances to our developers and users is troublesome and requires accomplishing many steps, including provisioning virtual resources, installing database software, applying configuration, hardening, software upgrades, uh, performing backups, scaling, replication, clustering. On top of all of these activities, there are also tasks uh, that differentiate our uh, products that give us value. Tasks such as uh, optimizing applications, uh, tuning database performance, managing database schema. So Trove mission is to automate these activities and enable administrators to focus on this important task and engage the potential. Uh, Trove currently supports 11 database engines, relational and non-relational, in both single instance and cluster deployments. Uh, and it has the complexity of managing each of them behind unified interface. By unified interface, I understand that you have single command to create instance of MariaDB, Redis, or Cassandra. Single command to perform backups on all of these instances. Single command to apply a configuration, and, and so on. And finally, Trove is built entirely on OpenStack. It fully utilizes OpenStack infrastructure ecosystem. It is a great synergy of services such as Nova, Cinder, Swift, Glance, and Neutron. Uh, let me briefly uh, introduce you to the core features provided by our project. Obviously, the most fundamental feature provided by Trove is provisioning database instances. Trove allows you to create database instances of almost any type available on the market. You only have to specify data store type, so whether it's MariaDB, Redis, or Cassandra, version of data store, the capacity, flavor, and network in which your database should be running. And after launching the instance, Trove will deliver you with a functional database instance to connect to and start performing queries. Uh, after you create the instance, you are able to dynamically change its capacity and computational power by resizing volumes and flavors. Uh, you also have a database and user management API, so you are able to uh, create databases and users on running instances in an abstract way. Uh, Trove uh, helps you keep configurations consistent between database deployments and allows you to manage configuration on a massive scale. Uh, it provides a concept of a configuration group, which is a set of parameters in key value format that may be defined for a given data store. After you create this configuration group, you are able to attach it to multiple database instances, update configuration on multiple database instances at once, as well as restore defaults afterwards. So imagine that you have 100 database instances running in your environment. Trove allows you to uh, update configuration on all of these instances uh, at once in a single command. Uh, moreover, it provides you with a convenient backup uh, management API, allows you to perform both full and incremental backups. Uh, and uh, from user perspective, you only have to specify instances on which uh, backup should be performed. So you do not have to care about uh, choosing appropriate backupping strategy, about running dedicated backupping tool, about uh, compression, encryption, and storing the backup output in some external storage. Trove will handle this all uh, for you. And it also allows you to define so-called scheduled backups. Uh, on a daily basis, we do not want to perform backups once or twice randomly. We want to perform backups in a periodical fashion, once a day, once an hour, once a week. And Trove allows you to do that. Uh, you only have to specify a cron job for, for backup to uh, to execute, and Trove, by integration with Mistral, we register 
a periodic cron job uh, to trigger backup uh, periodically. Uh, it also allows you to uh, upgrade data store services running on your instances, both on single instances and uh, cluster deployments. In case of clusters, it will conduct rolling uh, upgrade and update only uh, one uh, cluster node at the moment. Besides single instance deployment, uh, it also allows you to provision clusters. Some of you may know that provisioning clusters and managing their topologies is not a trivial task. It requires activities such as uh, creating nodes, electing nodes with, nodes with special roles, uh, setting up gross protocols, joining the cluster. Trove simplifies this procedure to the bare minimum. You only specify data store type, version, flavor, and capacity specification for each node, and you are delivered with functional cluster to connect to. Uh, it also allows you to dynamically resize the cluster, grow cluster by new cluster nodes, or remove the old ones, as well as set up replication sets, uh, consisting of single replication source and multiple uh, slaves. And this is not full feature sets of, uh, of Trove. It provides much more, but this is what you uh, use uh, most often. And this is the updated data store capability matrix. Uh, the one that you saw in the documentation uh, was stale and updated, and we managed to update it uh, with uh, all features that were introduced uh, over time. Uh, as I already said, Trove supports 11 database engines, five relational, one key value, uh, two column stores, two document stores, and one multimodal database. Uh, provisioning, schema management, backup and restore, resizing is supported by all these data stores. Replication and clustering, this is still work in progress. We are slowly filling the gaps and need help from the community to uh, facilitate the process. Um, so I have a question for you. Uh, if any one of you uh, did not found a database on the slide that you use, your favorite database, which one is that? Uh, it's Oracle. Oracle. It's my favorite database, but the favorite database of one of our products. Okay. <laughs> we, we have that on our mind, and maybe we will introduce this in the future. And I have a, oh, yes. SQL Server, we have a couple. Yeah, it is also not supported. It is, yeah. SQL Server. So SQL Server. Or is it Python? Hmm? No. So Oracle and uh, SQL Server are not currently supported. Mm, but I have a good news to you. Could you repeat? Uh, by Trove? Uh, they may be supported. We can uh, implement new, new strategies. But this is uh, a roadmap for uh, a further feature, future. Uh, I would like to emphasize that Trove is not only database as a service solution. It is also a great database automation framework. The abstractions that it introduces in its code and architecture make it very easy to implement strategies for new databases. You only have to implement interfaces of several classes, prepare a uh, guest image, so virtual machine image hosting database service of your choice, and you can fully leverage automated database lifecycle management. Uh, in my opinion, this is a huge advantage over commercial solutions that in most cases have closed sources, do not allow for contributions. In case of commercial solutions, we are always limited to the data stores that are offered at the moment. And with Trove, we may implement uh, this uh, support that we, uh, that we need. Uh, this is a known um, diagram uh, showing um, the results of the survey that was conducted during uh, previous OpenStack summits. And this is percentage usage of each OpenStack uh, project among 350 cloud deployments that were analyzed during this survey. 5% uh, of these de deployments, uh, it gives us around 18, uh, uses Trove in production. 8% uh, is evaluating it for future use in production and 17% is interested in integrating Trove into their platform at some point in the future. Uh, moving on to highlighting uh, Rocky release. Um, it is a well-known fact that uh, Trove community is in a bad shape, and this is mostly caused by major company contributors leaving the community. Uh, so uh, during Rocky, we were focusing uh, mostly on uh, on accomplishing OpenStack-wide goals. Uh, we managed to uh, enable mutable configuration, so now uh, Trove configuration may be updated uh, in the runtime without restor restarting Trove services. Uh, also, we removed use of MOX in favor of MOX free for testing, because MOX is deprecated, it is not actively maintained, it doesn't have support for Python free, and since 
Python 3 support is wide goal for uh, OpenStack future, we decided to move all uh, truth projects to, to MOX3, which supports Python 3. Uh, we also progressed with migrating uh, our Trough client to uh, centralized monitoring, uh, centralized OpenStack client. Uh, we added support for commands in scope of clustering, replication, configuration, and executions. Uh, this is still work in progress, and the Etherpad that is linked uh, below uh, is uh, showing current status of this migration, uh, which commands are already migrated and which commands should be migrated uh, soon. Uh, we also investigated, uh, investigated Nova file injection deprecation, uh, Nova deprecated personality files that are being used by Trove to inject guest config into uh, virtual machines. Uh, so we prepared a spec uh, which proposes using uh, user data uh, instead. This spec already passed our approval process and we are going to implement it uh, in the Stein release. Uh, we also uh, enhanced our Tempest integration test suite uh, well, the previous uh, testing suit uh, had many problems. In example, it has very poor test isolation. Uh, it requires prior creating resources such as users, um, roles, uh, networks. Uh, and it also is very slow, uh, hard to maintain. So our long-term goal, long goal is to replace all uh, tests uh, with uh, Tempest, uh, Tempest scenarios. We already added Tempest job to Zulu CI pipeline, as well as we have several API tests that cover basic APIs. And these are uh, stats for Rocky. Uh, 100 commits, uh, 11 uh, thousands of uh, lines of codes, uh, 30 contributors, 47 uh, reviewers, and core team consisting of 14 people. Currently, this is not enough to effectively maintain and develop the project, but we hope to uh, to change that in the, in the future, as uh, I will say in uh, a few slides. Uh, regarding uh, Stein, uh, similar to Rocky, the first focus is put on uh, OpenStack wide goals. Uh, the first one is running under Python 3 by default. Uh, we already migrated most of the project to Python 3, and this is also uh, described in Etherpad linked below. Uh, and we uh, will support pre-upgrade checks. Uh, the pre-upgrade check framework is already merged into our mainline, and we will enhance um, uh, the, the checks. We will also progress with migration to OpenStack client. Uh, we will implement uh, the spec for uh, adopting user data instead of uh, Nova personality files. Uh, we will enhance uh, Tempest integration framework for Trove by uh, new testing uh, environment and new testing scenarios, as well as uh, we will improve documentation because we identified that the main reason why users and operators are not going to use Trove is because they don't know how to. Uh, and the entry level for the project is um, very high. Uh, so, an example, people are trying to build guest images for Trove and they are failing and they are not trying to uh, overcome that. Uh, our idea is also to embed building guest images into DevStack plugin so that uh, people who want to evaluate the project or develop it uh, will be able to specify data store type and version, and DevStack plugin will automatically build guest image and load it into Trove. So right after uh, installing DevStack, a uh, user will be able to interact with Trove without uh, troubling with building images or applying uh, some custom configuration. And finally, we want to introduce a new communication channel between control and data plane. This is for security reasons. Uh, currently, guest agent is uh, communicating with control plane via the message bus, so it has credential and access to the message bus and is able to communicate with any OpenStack service. And we want to prevent that by uh, applying similar concept to, uh, to Octavia. Uh, communicate with control plane directly without uh, interaction with uh, the uh, message broker. Uh, now, moving on to community update. Uh, in the middle of Rocky release, uh, Samsung R&D uh, joined the community. Uh, they have uh, more than two years of experience. They have many features uh, uh, implemented uh, internally, and now uh, they are uh, pushing these uh, changes uh, to, to the upstream. Uh, we also introduced three new active contributors to the project. Uh, as well as we have new uh, project technical lead, uh, Darius Krul, uh, who unfortunately couldn't make it today. Uh, and finally, we have plan for revitalization, uh, which is uh, described in uh, this linked pad. 
Uh, firstly, and these are the first steps that you want to uh, conduct. We want to evangelize about Trove. So during OpenStack Summit, we have uh, three sessions about Trove, onboarding session, project update, and uh, the main session about uh, production use cases. Uh, we want to understand user requirements. Uh, we already had great discussions with people at Summit uh, about what they need and what are they doub their, their doubts, doubts about the project. Uh, we also will improve Trove documentation and simplify guest image building since we identified this as uh, the most uh, common issues when entering the project. Uh, so I guess this is all from my side. Uh, we need help if you want to contribute, if you want to join our journey, uh, then we invite you to our weekly meetings and our IRC channel uh, to contact us and uh, discuss your uh, ideas and issues. Um, any questions? Um, I guess uh, currently um, there's no features to update guest agents, mm -hmm. right? No, uh, there's we, no no yeah. no update um, guest agents. Do, do you have any ideas about how, how to do do that? Uh, not yet. Uh, we, this is not in our roadmap, uh, uh -huh. and we do not have any specification, any blueprint for doing though. So, but I think it, it's very important to um, apply Trove to production, um, especially public cloud. I think. Yes, this is critical because any time a code update happens, then we have to you know, shut down instances mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, provision them from scratch. Yeah, this is very important, and we may focus uh, on that uh, in the future. Mm. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, manage what? Uh, I wouldn't say that this is our story. Uh, we know certain aspects of security that are uh, being not handled in Trove properly. Um, the guest, uh, guest agent control plane communication is being a notable example here. Uh, but we are identifying uh, more and more issues by discussing with, with users who are using uh, Trove in production and Yes, this should be probably also our major focus in the future. I was thinking about specifically one issue when it comes to the shared uh, message bus. Yes. I, think I, I guess you heard about that. Yes, this is what I uh, mentioned oh, in this slide, the new communication channel between uh, guest agent and control plane. We want to focus on that in the Stein release. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions, ideas, comments? Okay, so just what I, I would think is trying to get email addresses of everybody who's mm -hmm. interested to make it directly. Yeah, so uh, if anyone is interested in uh, helping us uh, pushing through forward on or has any ideas or want to discuss some topics, then I would gladly in, uh, invite you to um, approach me during the summit, in example, after this conference, and uh, I can get your emails. I can give you my uh, business, business card and we may start to collaborate. We also have uh, another session today uh, about production grade use cases uh, with Trove. So you are invited. It is around 2 p.m. Uh, so I think we are out of time. So thank you very much.